I'm Steve Nations, Vice President at Drive Social Media St. Louis, and I'm here to talk to you about three social media marketing myths. First and foremost, and this is gonna shock you when I say that this is a myth, likes, comments, and shares matter. Likes, comments, and shares do not matter for the vast majority of small businesses. We've been trained to chase the like, but Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook invented the like. It didn't exist when billboards around were the 80s. It didn't exist with TV advertising in the 90s. People chase this because it makes them feel good. But liking a comment, liking a post, liking a video, liking a photo does not mean that someone wants to buy from you. I like a lot of content from Lamborghini and Bugatti. Unless something drastically changes, I'm unlikely to be making a purchase from either of those businesses in the near future. You need to be focusing on the right metrics with your social media marketing. Who's viewing your post? Who's viewing your ad? Who's going back to the website after seeing it? Who's dropping a lead? And most importantly, who's buying from you? Liking something does not equate to purchasing intent. Number two myth. Data collection ruins the customer experience. Here at Drive Social Media in St. Louis, I hear a lot of my partners, especially the ones in the hospitality and food and beverage space say, Steve, I'm not gonna ask my customers for their data. That will ruin the customer experience. But I would argue that people are not averse to giving data these days. There's a lot of talk about data privacy, but at the end of the day, people give their information to Starbucks 20 million times a day. Every time you make a purchase from Walgreens, you put your number into the system so that you can get a little discount that you don't even know what the discount is. People are not averse to having their data collected. They're averse to giving away their data without knowing why they're giving it. If you incentivize your customers to give you their data in the right way, i.e. loyalty programs, frequent purchaser programs, data collection via POS, things like that, you are gonna be able to target your customers exactly where they are in your purchasing funnel. Whether they're unaware, aware, researching, considering, or buying, we'll know exactly where they are in the funnel, and you can speak to that point in their experience as well. Do not feel like your customers are averse to giving you their data. They just need to be incentivized the right way. The third myth that I hear at Drive Social Media St. Louis a lot is that we can use Google referral traffic to determine how many websites visitors we're getting from social. Google is only going to tell you the direct clicks from Facebook or Instagram to your website. They are not gonna tell you how many people interacted with the ad and went to the website later. The vast majority of people don't use social to shop, they use social to kill time. So when they're on the platform, they're not shopping, they're stuck in traffic, they're waiting for a meeting to start, they're sitting on the couch watching Netflix and they're scrolling mindlessly. So they're not in shopping mode. That being said, they're spending their time on the platform. That's a great place to burn your name and your value into their brain. And when they want to make a purchase in your category in the future, you're gonna be the one that they think of first because they've been seeing you so much on the platform. You won't be able to see the traffic of people that see your ads and later Google your website and go straight to it from Google. Google's only gonna tell you the direct traffic from Facebook to your website. Cool? I'm Steve Nations, Vice President at Drive Social Media St. Louis. If you found this helpful or insightful, smash that like button, give me a call. Let's start driving customers into your business.